It's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Habib Nurmagomedov, he's a guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly, and when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do in the octagon. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, he's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is going to look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Hercules. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting them to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. Yeah. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. A lot of top pressure being applied here. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters. We have the entire USB, and you're seeing why. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now, maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. 30 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well placed kick there by Nurmagomedov. Just a slip there. Under a minute now to go in the round. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, just... That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. And it hurt his opponent very bad. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, I guess the takedown late in the round here. That's a way to leave an impression on the judges. And big picture, I think, could set him up for future success in the next round. Check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready? You ready? All right, round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Punch coming, it's blocked. He's right there, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's at the Octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him off. The fight's done. And they separate. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh! Oh, straight right. Mago Meadows punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. Big ball for first man. Now he gets back in range. Oh, that's a nice strike there by the Mago Meadows. Yeah, Hamiz Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Big kick lands. Just misses there with the left. Under two minutes now to go. Yeah, left hook found its target. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. And both guys really thrown with authority. Well, if 
you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie punch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Nice hook lands. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Stuffs the dead. What a fight so far! All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Ooh, head kick lands. Hurt. Nice punch by the Mongol. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are. Oh! Huge strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Just over two minutes to go. How about that shin? Battling for hooks. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Oh, man, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Punch over the top. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Close guard. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. He's gonna take off on here. Oh, we're getting a finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. <laughs> From there as yeah, he gets it got done it by submission. He got the arm straight. He got the pressure with his hips to force his opponent to tap, and he wins the fight. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, that's about as good as he's looked in the grappling realm, and he stayed focused on the arm bar. He kept going back to the well for it, and ultimately, in the 
middle of this fight, he gets the tap. That is a big finish for that young man here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eagle Beans called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 44 seconds of the third round. To claim the winner by tap out, Habib the Eagle Fernando Plata. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again.